Hey guys, Jay up here bringing you a Moab gameplay on the map interchange and the setup I'm using is an ACR silence with extended magma secondaries and MB9 silence. Three starting perks are Scavenger Pro, Hardline Pro, and Stalker Pro. Then I move into the specialist with Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Marksman All Pro. Now this Moab gameplay is a little different than all the other ones that I've posted. I've only posted one like this and yes I am using the AC Hard Try Hard Gun. But the thing is, this is my second double Moab that I have ever gotten. And I finally got one on Interchange. I think Interchange is my most moab map, and right behind it is Hard Hat. These two maps I really love, and I usually get a Moab on them every couple times I play them. So I really enjoy playing these maps, and I did play the objective quite a bit in this gameplay, more than I normally would. But then when we got to like the last third of the actual game, we actually let them take two of the objectives because they actually let me have a little bit more time so I could get this double mob because if they hadn't given me that time, I more than likely would not have gotten it because usually I take my time when going for Moabs. You've got a whole game, a whole 11 minutes to try to do it. But I managed to get one just playing the objective like the first half of the game. So I decided to try and get another one. Now, I don't know what's going on this month. Usually every month I have one or two weeks in which I just have this huge Moab spree. And I guess right now I'm in the middle of it because I've gotten close to a double Moab, I'd like to say three or four times this week alone. And I actually managed to get one. I think the other one was also on interchange and I was like four off when I got killed because I pushed the spawns a little too hard. Usually, I can get it if I don't decide to just rush all out. I guess that's what my trouble is. And the first one was on bootleg. I know I was close to getting a double mob before that one. And the only reason that I lost it was because I did push the spawn. Causing me to get quick scoped by a guy in a doorway. Which, if I would have stayed away from it, I probably would have had three double mobs today. But I'm not complaining. Two is good enough. I know there's a lot of people out there who've got double, triples, quads. Some even have pentas. But I mean, I like doing it with two or three teammates. I don't run a ground war lobby trying to trap, things like that. I really don't see how that is actually fun when you're staying in the same place basically the whole time just shooting. But that's just my opinion. I love moving around the map. And like I said in this gameplay, we were moving back and forth. I actually capped the objective maybe two or three times and defended a whole lot until we got near the end of the game. Then we decided to actually control the spawns rather than the objectives. Like I said before, I needed that little bit more time. Now, I've also been getting a lot of 200 and O gameplays recently. That I think last week we got three of them alone. We did one in Mono for two, one in Black Ops, and then one in Mono for three. And you should expect those sometime soon. And after getting those, I think I wouldn't mind doing that more often. That's probably the gameplay that is the ultimate objective gameplay because you are literally taking every objective before the enemy team cam and then you are protecting it the whole time. So I think it's like probably one of the best gameplays out there. I know a lot of people like Moabs. A lot of people like to see those 100 no gameplays, but I know there might be some out there that want to see like the ultimate domination gameplay where you just completely destroy the other team by taking that objective. I know I enjoy playing it and I actually like watching it sometimes to see how the people actually play it because in my opinion, I think the best way to actually completely dominate a map is by running assault streaks. Specialists might be good for one-on-one -on -one battles, especially if you get into the specialist bonus, but I think the best way to actually protect your points once you get them is to have like Predator, Precision Airstrike, and probably just run UAV. That way you know where the enemy's at, and every time they go to take an objective, you can either drop a Predator on it or Precision Airstrike. And sometimes the Precision Airstrikes will actually be very good because you can actually drop it from one flag to the other if they're taking two. I know I've seen that a couple of times, but that's how we got our 200-0 shutout game on Village, actually, is because we were running Assault Killstreaks. I would have had an Assault Moab doing this, but the Precision Airstrike somehow killed me when it wasn't placed on top of me. Even though I had a Ballistic Vest, that is the first time I've ever had a Precision Airstrike kill me or an enemy in one hit with the Ballistic Vest. So maybe it was just I was cursed at that moment, the fact that I was actually on an Assault Moab streak. That it got me killed, but hey, it's, I'm not complaining. We got a 200 no gameplay, and I think it will be entertaining to watch. Now, also in this gameplay, I think most people were actually either running specialist or assault kill streaks. I think there was one person running support, which was a big help. I know he was laying ballistic vests down every so often. He had a recon drone, running UAVs, things like that. And I found that to be very helpful. But I think out of the 273 total mobs that I currently have, I think maybe 50 or 60 of them may have had help from ballistic vest now i enjoy them and everything but i know going up against a guy with the ballistic vest is sometimes hard even if you have an acr or type 95 it'll take that extra three bullets or that burst to actually kill the guy because those things sometimes work and then sometimes it feels like they never work like i can put on a ballistic vest drop three feet immediately lose it that one i did not understand i think a recent patch kind of messed it up but then again there's sometimes where i pick up a ballistic vest get hit by a stun or one bullet 
and then I lose it again. So I think sometimes they're glitched, sometimes they're not. I do find them useful every so often, especially if I'm going on a double mob streak like this. I really wouldn't mind having one because getting that first Moab, I'm used to. It kind of bored me, like I said before. That's why I decided to go for all these like different hard gun challenges, the bad guns, things like that. But going for the double Moab, I really wouldn't mind having a Ballistic Vest out on the ground because after I get the first one, you have that rush and that little bit of shaking going on when you're getting close to the second one and anything can go wrong you could like be too excited and miss your shot and end up dying but having that ballistic vest and you miss that shot you'll be able to get back on course and take that guy out and be able to get that double mob so I don't know what my stance really is on ballistic vest to me I guess it's kind of like a miniature version of painkiller from MW2 but sometimes it's helpful, other times it's just a pain, especially if the entire enemy team is running Ballistic Vest. All of them are running support, Stealth Bombers, EMPs, Ballistic Vest. Those things will get very annoying very fast, and I have found that we have lost many games due to support killstreak people that were on the objective at all time because that Ballistic Vest would protect them from that grenade, or there's three shots where their buddy would come up and be able to take us out because we couldn't kill them fast enough. But I've also started thinking about recently how they could have actually balanced support and made it fair. And what I came to a conclusion of, maybe it would have been more balanced if they would take the current streak level for that support item and double it. Make EMPs that much higher. Because the thing is, then they wouldn't be running through these things so fast. Because one person can end up EMPing you twice in one game, which gets very annoying. And they can actually do stealth bombers even more if that's their last support streak. So I think if they actually had doubled the kill amount or the point amount, the total thing to get that item, it would have been more fair because I know it sucks when you have a whole team doing this. Even UAVs getting spammed nonstop because three people immediately get three UAVs, they have an advanced UAV. You're basically screwed in a way if you don't have assassin or if you don't have blind eye shooting it down. So I think it would have been something fair if they just completely doubled all the amounts in the support package because I know it was based for that objective player the person who didn't care if he got killed as long as he got the objective and it would help make people play the objective more if they actually had to move around and get that many more points or that many more kills even though they're dying so many times they would still get that eventually doing what they do best but I want to hear what y'all think down in the comment section below what is your ideas for a possible balance of the support package Maybe another thought is that after five or six deaths, the whole thing resets and you have to start over again. For those people who are playing the objective and are killing like they should be, but not those who sit in the corner with like attack and killing one person at a time, racking up those 12, 13 deaths in a row, trying to get a stealth bomb. Because I know it gets kind of crazy, but I think that would help balance it. That's something they could have done near the beginning of the game to make this game a whole lot better to play because I know a lot of people quit this game because they got sick of support kill streaks or assassin and stuff like that because assassin and blind eye is really the only thing to counter the support package and it gets very annoying I guess that's why I really enjoy using specialist because when I hit that bonus I have everything I don't have to worry about UAVs or all that different type of air support that they're throwing up that would put me at a disadvantage now I think I'm gonna set a Moab goal for me by the time Black Ops 2 comes out I'm probably gonna aim at about 300 and I think I'm gonna be able to do it I might use a couple more different weapons try to knock them out I know I've gotten one Moab with the FAD and that was in drop zone so I might try to get one in normal multiplayer uh, might speed it up because I think the drop zone Moab was about eight or nine minutes and it was kind of boring to watch because I was sitting there trying to flank the whole time so I think I'm gonna aim at getting one more of those but other things that I'm hopefully gonna start doing is my computer is basically gonna be coming in I think Friday and hopefully I'll have it put together over the weekend and I'm gonna start putting up more games I'm gonna do like more Minecraft or at least longer episodes on Minecraft I'm gonna start putting up tech it and I'm thinking over the weekends and you can leave your opinion down in the comment section below of playing different free first-person shooters or other first-person shooters I really want to play some blacklight retribution I wanted to get in that because it looks good it looks balanced and I also wanted to possibly post some of what I used to play called combat arms I was an extremely high level before I bought an Xbox and basically quit I think I was at 182 out of over four to five million people I played it quite a bit and I might want to post it every so often there are a couple cool modes in that but I would love to be able to post things like that over the weekend I'd rather have 
during the week like Modern Warfare 3 or when Black Ops 2 comes out and then have Minecraft and Tech it spread out over the days. I think that would be pretty cool, but I really want to add a little variety in, but I'm going to probably do it on the weekend where I'm actually just relaxing and playing games for the fun of it rather than sometimes trying to get the gameplays. Right now I don't have to worry about Modern Warfare 3 gameplays. I pretty much have my vault slap full of them. So if I do need something, I can get it then, but usually I'll just be playing Monarch for 3, and if I do happen to get a very good Moab gameplay, I'll end up posting it like this double Moab, but if I can't get anything good, I can just rely on my vault, which is a very good thing. But like I said, leave your opinions down in the comment section below. Would you like to see some random games on the weekend that you might be able to play if they're free or things like that? But two videos you probably missed, the one on the left is my Moab on Erosion, and the video on the right is the latest episode of Minecraft Monday. A link to my Twitter will be down in the description in case you want to follow me, get into open lobbies, or get on my Minecraft server. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Other than that, peace out.